Hey, this is Casual Asnable from uh, here at C2E2 2013, and I am here at the moment with the TARDIS console and an Amy Pond cosplayer. How are you guys doing? Very good. You enjoying? <laughs> Awesome, awesome. You enjoying C2E2 so far? Yeah, I'm having an amazing time. How about you? There's some amazing artists here and some really, really great costume markups. Yeah, most definitely. I've been seeing some of the most amazing stuff so far, and these certainly qualify. I mean, okay, first of all, what can you tell me about this? What brought on this crazy idea? Well, I kind of wanted to just do something that no one had ever done before. Yeah. So I was thinking, let's go inside the TARDIS. D definitely. Did you make this one yourself? Yeah. And we've got over 200 LEDs running through the whole dress. Over 200, wow, that is that is very impressive. Let's make sure you're getting good shots of this. <laughs> and you, uh, you're Amy Pond cosplay. Did you make that yourself? Uh, yes, with a little help from my father. Awesome, awesome. So is he a fan of the show too? Oh yeah, he's what got me started into this whole thing. Was he actually, did he actually watch the old series before it was revived? He watched it while it was on air, yes. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So you've got a bit of a Doctor Who fandom going through the family right now. Awesome, awesome. So tell me, how long did this actually take you to make, though? Well, I've been working for about a month and a half. About a month and a half? Okay, that's that's pretty good considering the results. You made it actually pretty quickly. Yeah, it was a rush order. <laughs> it was a rush order? Well, still, I mean, what what kind of parts did you have to get to get this all together? Um, I mean, besides the basic fabric for the dress, we're dealing with a lot of foam for here to keep it lightweight. Okay. Um, LEDs ordered from online and okay. placed in, and um, then there's a battery in the back of here. That's probably the nice, way it is. Nice. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'd imagine you'd need something like that. Well, what about did you? Uh, did you make this vest from scratch, actually? No, this is actually an Army-Navy surplus store. I find found materials and like to put them together into costumes, and most of my Amy Pond wear I had in my, co my closet already, so... <laughs> And you've got a cute little Matt Smith doll there, from what I'm seeing. My little raggedy doctor myself. Oh, that's that's adorable. And he even comes with a little sonic screwdriver. Yeah, screwdriver, yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's incredibly adorable. I love the little walkie-talkie there you've got as well. Thank you, yes. That's so I can call my backup. You guys been enjoying the con so far? Uh, any guests you've seen? Or are you going to see Peter Davidson at some point later? That'd be really nice, too, actually. Yeah, yeah. The, the fifth do if, in case you guys weren't aware, the fifth doctor is actually here at yeah. this convention. Oh, yeah. So yeah, he'll be hosting a panel from what I'm hearing at 7 o'clock. I'll hopefully be dropping by myself later. You guys should show him this, though. He's, I mean, he's appeared very briefly on the new show, so he would be familiar with the new look of the TARDIS and everything. He would love this. You've got to make sure he sees this somehow. Both of you guys, you both look fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. All right, this is Casual Asbel here at C2E2 2013. Signing off for now.